Okay, first of all, why do I look really tall? I'm just gonna keep creepily smiling. Okay. Is there anything in my teeth? No, is there anything what in my What do you know? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, the <laughs> arrived we had a very bumpy flight which wasn't good for me I did a little poo -poo and <laughs> but now it's all fine we got picked up we're at the, we're right. at the hotel right. what speak the mother tongue be don't be rude it's called I did a little caca okay petite Okay. Caca. Okay. So we arrived in Paris, and uh, this is a hotel room. Let me show you around. Okay. So we've got the. <laughs> my accent's horrible. It's not yeah, yeah. slightly offensive. Uh, this is the bed. Ooh! Look at the distance in between each other. How romantic. They do call it the city of dirt. No. What you do is you put a third person in the middle. You see. Oh, is that? That's Amsterdam. You'd know. Um, yeah. So here you go. You've got a little balcony. Check out the balcony. It doesn't open. You know, health and safety health and safety. Uh, look at this flat screen TV. Joke's on us, it's just a artist impression of a TV and that's what they do in Paris. It's just like a, a painting of, of nothing. And <laughs> so uh, here we go, some Parisian mirrors. Look, you can tell they're Parisian because look how arty party they are. Oh, reflection ain't bad either. Jokes. Uh, here you go, more arty fartsy. Check it out, here's the bathroom. Always good if you need to wash, that's what I say and so does my mum. Come with me now, there I am. Look at this champagne reception, can you even believe it? How cute is that? I'm gonna demolish those like a motherfucker. How's it going, Rose Pose? Yeah, I found some things I can eat <laughs> that look vegan. Ah, uh, it's gargou. Uh. Uh. Yeah. How do you say? Uh? So basically my entire mission this business trip is to say bonjour, bonjour. to as many people as I possibly can with that exact intonation. Uh, bear with me while people hate me. They'll be like, who's that obnoxious American? And I'll be like, hold on, who you call an American? They'll be like, who's that obnoxious Australian? I'm like, hey, who you call an Australian? And they'll be like, is that Mr. Rose Dix? Like Netflix International put on that little gift thing. Rose, <laughs> I managed to open the balcony. I knew we could use it. You did it! Oh I'm wow! I'm locked out. So. Oh my god, lols. Oh my god. How do you lock it? How cute oh, is this? Building. That there is the Eiffel Tower. I would have that there. This is health and safety. At the end is St Paul's Cathedral, London, and down there that's a skip. This is a down really there, beautiful that's what I like city. To call vertigo. Oh. Okay. This is so cute. I feel so Parisian. Hey, look! There's the on top of that building. Wait, hold on a sec. On top of that building, you can see the Statue of Liberty. It's such a good view up here. Can I tell you who doesn't feel Parisian? Who? Lauren Conrad, because she'll always be known as that girl who didn't go to Paris. That's the most poignant thing you could have said in Paris. Bonjour. See, Lauren Conrad, we've got one over you. We are here to interview Ashton Kutcher and Danny Masterson from The Ranch, uh, Big Boo and Red from Orange is the New Black, and also Titus Burgess from The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. So Rosie and I are pretty darn nervous, especially for Ashton Kutcher, because because I watched him in a lot of things growing up and he was one of my man crushes at one point. And me, I used to love him when he was in all the chick flicks in like the early noughties. Uh, just don't slip up and call him Aston. Because that's a real name. Do you know what my mum said? What? My mum says, oh, yeah. ask him, ask him how Demi's doing. <laughs> I was like... She doesn't call her Demi, does she? Because her name's yeah. Demi. It's Not Barbara Demi. Music. She will say Demi. She says right? migraine instead of migraine. So I'm really excited. Rosie's really excited. I'm so happy we got to bring you to Paris. I'm going to flip the camera around now and ask Rosie how she's doing. This is what they do in Paris. They lean. They lean. They're so cool. We were driving through and so many people were leaning. Like, 
I don't even think they were smoking real cigarettes. I think it was just like for show, like aesthetic. I'm gonna take up smoking in Paris. You're interviewing Ashton Kutcher tomorrow at half 12. How'd you feel? Okay, okay. We got to Paris. Uh, we went to our hotel room and freshened up a bit. And we've been put in a car. You more than others. How dare you? <laughs> I brushed my teeth. Everything's good. No one will know I had onion soup. <laughs> I know. Uh, right before the party, clever me. But um, so we freshened up, we brushed our teeth, we lip gloss, we did everything. And we've been put in this car. Why do I look like a thumb? And we're carrying because <laughs> you always look like a thumb. That's so mean. And we're going to a party, and it's all really secretive, and we don't know what's going on. So we're really excited. Don't know if we're allowed to vlog there. Oh, message, but we'll try. Yeah. And that's <laughs> that's all the information we have right now. What? What? You just think just because we're in a different country, you can just vlog me without permission? Yeah. You can. <laughs> I'm in Paris. You're very close to me, but I like it. Let me tell you a few things I've learned about Paris. Number one. Graffiti. No, number one. Graffiti. graffiti. Number two, very thin roads, narrow. Number three, um, I feel like lesbians would use dental dams over here. Oh, do you remember we tried that once? Rosie. It was like licking something through tin foil. Oh no. Well, I was on the other end of it. It's horrible. I couldn't feel a thing. Actually, Be it's safe, kids. It's not Be safe. It's not tin foil, it's more like, you know when your mum puts you in like a wet weather jacket when you're young? Yeah. That kind of material. Yeah, like waterproof. Yeah. 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 Yes. So this event at the moment is the kickoff evening for the Netflix convention that we're at. I'm going to teach the party dicks to everybody I meet, including Ashton Kutcher. Should I get to do it? Yeah. Shall I? Get t Titus would do the party dicks. Easy to explain. Hi Ashton Kutcher, I'm a lesbian, but I like to point with my fingers and call it the party dicks. Would you join me? <laughs> I'm gonna go by. Having fun! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I caught your tongue, has it? <laughs> Too much dancing to Justin, isn't it, Rosé? I love Justin, I love champagne. Oh, are you fun? I'm having a lot of fun. I know, I keep forgetting I'm in Paris, it's like really surreal, like I'm dancing like, is it too late now to say sorry? Universal song, you know. Is it too late now to say sorry? To say le sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow's interview, oh yeah, there's one tomorrow and then there's two more tomorrow. No, Rosie, there's one tomorrow and there's two more the next day. How many have you had? Right, do you know what, Rosie? I'm going, I'm just going. Do you know why? Because you're starting to get like your mother after a night out. What? <laughs> Off the chain. <laughs> okay, that's how you were conceived. Bye. I hope she doesn't watch this video. Okay, bye. Probably will. Hey guys, so just to keep you updated on where we are, we got to Paris yesterday, went to a little party to get to know all the other influencers, creators, YouTubers. So that was really, really fun. I had too much champagne, I had a little dance to Nairo's. Yeah. It was fun. And now we got really, really early. We left the hotel at eight and we're in, currently in, like basically a set, which is like Litchfield Prison. And that's, this is like our canteen for the day. So we're having a bit of breakfast here now and we're gonna have lunch here later. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so basically we're in this big huge Netflix convention and there are loads of sets like pop-up sets which are really amazing it's a huge building really amazing venue and uh, we're going to be going into the sets and interviewing people there's loads of people out there as well there's loads of guards I think Rose is taking a snapchat photo hi hi and then yeah this is the cute little canteen huge interview in only three hours um, of two ways. Either way, it's going to be brown. Is that a thing? Vlog out? Vlog, Vlog out. out for now, you guys. Take it easy, take it sleazy, and I will see you later. When I'm can crying. I say, <laughs> can I just say, this Parisian freshly squeezed orange juice is divine. Thanks, Paris. Hi, guys. Just me again. Um, we've just interviewed Ashton and Danny, and it went so well. Apart from the fact that when we got out, Rosie said, um, Rose, I didn't want to tell you before we went in, but um, you've only put gold What's it called? Eyeshadow, eyeshadow on your wallet on eye. One close, it, close your eyes. Rosie, you don't have to be so yeah. cruel. Yeah, so basically I, I noticed it just before we went to interview Asha and Danny and I was like looking at her and I was thinking, right, I'm not going to tell her because we don't have any spare eyeshadow and that's just going to make one panic before we go into this like quite important interview. So I've told you now, now we've done it. Rosie, Rosie. If anything, I think it just adds a little bit of mystery about my personality. If anything, 
Ashton and Danny were probably like, oh look, there's a girl that How only mysterious. On one, one eye. eye. Yeah, exactly. kinky. Maybe it's because I blinked the rest off. Or blunked, as they say in modern day English. <laughs> I'm really excited to be in Paris with these amazing creators and this amazing talent. I'm talking about myself and myself. All right, guys, signing off for now. We'll check back in with you later. Stay safe. Always wear protection. Hard helmets and a dental down. And hi, there's Bye. We just interviewed Kate Mulgrew and Leah de la... Leah de la Ria. That's what I wanted to say, but I was... Leah gonna... I was de gonna... la Ria. Leah de la Ria. Thank God, that would, didn't... thank God we've already done the interview because if you'd have told me that, that would have put that in my head. Kate so Mulgrew, we just Leah interviewed Diaria. Kate Mulgrew <laughs> and Leah Dularia. You want to say something about her being Janeway, don't you? I Do you know you used to think she was the pigeon lady? <laughs> I watched an old vlog of mine the other day and we were in Cornwall and not only did you make comments about my stepdad in an unsavoury manner, as a joke though, Kevin Rose love each other, but you, you were like, oh, I she's Kate the Mulgrew pigeon lady the from pig. Home Alone. And I was like, no, she's Janeway. And Rose was like, no, she isn't. She, was like, she was like, you're going to be wrong. You're like, going to be wrong. I was like, Rosie, I know my Star Trek captains, yeah, and that is the pigeon lady. I think I know my Star Thank Trek God, captains. Voyager, Janeway. Like, can you imagine if I brought that up? So basically, Rosie was like, you can't bring up Star Trek. I was like, I've, I've got a great... No, because we're interviewing them about Orange yeah, in the new season of say, Orange. This is how I wanted it to be. Mm. Kate, Leah, hi, welcome, how are you? We've never had inmates on our channel before. Blah, 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 blah. We, we use that line. Yeah, and then I wanted to say, nor have we been graced with the presence of a Star Trek captain. Yeah, but Rosie, Rose, we could no, all talk it, about what we would have it. wanted to say. But the interview's done. I wanted to... <laughs> oh, photo bomb, I <laughs> love it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing the same top, different skirts, so I am in a different outfit. I'm wearing the same pants. Ugh. I'm, I'm not. Joking. I had my lucky pants on yesterday. I don't have my lucky pants on today. I need to get a second pair of lucky pants. So we did the interview. It went really, really well. Mm -hmm. They were really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And um, it was yeah, like a, it was di good. a different kind of atmosphere interviewing yes. women. Well, also, it's not just women as well. There are many different factors. So um, when we interviewed Ashton and Danny, sorry if I'm moving around my arms ache. I've been you vlogging a lot. a lot. I don't care. Professionality's gone out the window. Um, when we were What's doing professionality, I made up a word. Okay, we can all talk about what we would have done. Most. Star Trek. That's right. what I would have done. Someone said to us before you go and interview Kate at Mulgrew. She's a professional, and she'll know a professional. You should have said, "Hey, look, I know my professionality, all right? <laughs> and I'm not a professional. professional. I've got a, a professional. very professional professionality." And that put me off straight away because I was like, "Oh my god, I'm thrown." So we talked all about Orange and my favourite part was we asked Kate, well we asked them both to sum up season four in four words and the words she used were made me really, 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 really excited to watch Orange but I won't tell you because you have to watch Rose's video. I can't believe I said pussy is one of them. Wait, can, I, I, can I just... What the fuck is that? What the fuck? If that guy photobomb now, he'd be wishing he didn't. I was just about to say that I felt <laughs> silent but you can't violent. Just bar in Paris. Yeah, I can. Bye. Bye. Can you smell it through the camera? You know when you yawn on camera and you catch a yawn, can you smell a fart? Bye. And that's the real questions that we should be asking. Vlogging in front of everyone, really awkward. This is Quinn. <laughs> we love Quinn. She's no. a female comedian. We need more well, of comedian, them. Comedian, that's a big word that's for it. That's what you are. Do you I, do I, female I, I, comedy? Yeah, I make jokes. Oh, you do comedy? <laughs> yeah. Ah, make some jokes. She's being modest. I love her. Yeah, and she's also what? from the Netherlands, which she says it like, I'm from the Netherlands. Wait, I it can't say it. It's my Yeah, there you go. And it's, <laughs> She's been teaching me Dutch and then we formed a Dutch lesbian club. Even though Quinn isn't a lesbian as far as I know, but we've accepted no, I'm not, her into the club. I don't give a shit. So we're on our yeah, she don't give a shit. Everyone's saying that my name is so nice, blah blah blah. It and is. I always introduce myself as Quinn because I think it's easier. Quinn's nice yeah. as well though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose wants I to name like our it. child Quinn. I do. You oh, like I do. Quinn? I, I like it. Quinty, yeah. yeah definitely. And Quinty, yeah. Does it mean anything? To no, 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 really. Quinn is like it means Five. subscribe. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like Queen as well. I'm not even gonna do that. Like you could be like, yeah, my name's Queen. New game. We try and slip some Dutch into everyday conversations and videos. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> should. You yeah. should. What if I get <laughs> Dutch? Dutch. There you go. I don't want to offend. I want to be offensive. I love how unintentionally offensive we've yeah. been the entire three I days. I don't mean to. Yeah, also. yeah. Rose, Rose, Rose was like, um, I, I was talking Dutch, and she was like. Um, you're constantly doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I was like, oh, I'm like, that's how my language like, sounds. Okay, Quinn, cool. don't worry, like, Quinn. Quinn, cough first and then talk to me. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's a good one. That's what Dutch is. Signing off. Doeg. Bless you.